Hey, good evening, everybody. We are going to get around to unboxing the new dash cam tonight. Wow, yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing. Our new Garmin 66W dash cam. We're going to be unboxing that, do a brief overview, and then probably try to install it. It's awful cold out, so we'll see. So we're going to get to that coming up now. So, hello, hey, this is our new Garmin 66W dash cam that we're gonna be looking at tonight. I'm gonna unbox it. So happy about this. We wanted a dash cam for so long um, and uh, we decided we'd get this one, that video that we shot, what was that, yesterday, two, two days ago? Yesterday. Yesterday, okay. so we bought it yesterday and now we're gonna unbox it. Uh, this is a Garmin dash cam 66W, which the W stands for widescreen and has a 180 degree screen view on it. Wow. Uh, the lens. So basically you should be able to see from side to side, depending on where we mount it at in the truck. And I have not figured out exactly how we're going to mount it yet, but we're just going to get into this. Uh, I'm going to turn this over here on the back. It talks about, this is a 1440p, uh, dash cam, which just means it's a little higher quality than the 1080p, uh, so it should be uh, a little bit better video, I guess, from the camera itself. Uh, the neat thing about this one, it has voice control, so I can actually set in the driver's seat and you never have to touch the camera. I can just say, you know, record video or, you know, take a time-lapse video, which this does. This has a time-lapse feature on it. So eventually this will show up in some of our videos that we'll take off of this and everything else. So we're gonna open this up now. So if I had a drum roll, I would have a drum roll. So it comes in this little box uh, and... I don't know, how do you oh, open it? I think you open it from this end. There we go. And there it is. Voila, oh, wow. let me get a close up. Close up. So I know that that's so exciting. Wahoo. Okay, so this is the dash cam itself. We'll take this out. It's a small little dash cam. This is the magnetic mount. This actually gets onto our windshield, and then the dash cam itself sticks to that. So we'll put that aside. And it's like a coin. It looks like a coin. Right, we'll take the dash cam out. So those are the dash cam itself, and like I said, this little, it's got one that's in here. It actually comes with two mounts. That's an adhesive you stick to the windshield, but it sticks like that. So you can just, you can remove it whenever you want to. So there's the magnetic mount, there's the dash cam. We'll set this aside. Uh, this is a USB charger cable uh, that plugs in. It looks like it's just a USB micro to a regular USB cable. And I think this probably is for downloading images onto a computer. I see on the side of the uh, dash cam, there's a, a USB micro plug there. So I'm assuming that's what that's for. Comes with that. This is a charger that plugs into a cigarette lighter. And it looks like it has two ports on it. So I'm assuming it gets charged via USB. And this is the power cable itself. Uh, that would plug into this port uh, and we'll have to run this from the dash. We'll plug this into our cigarette lighter uh, on our truck. We've got two. We're in a Freightliner Cascadia, so there's two of those. One of them is already being used by our uh, inverter that we have up front, so we'll have to make sure that this works. I don't know if we could plug this into a regular, like a camera charger, which we have a ton of those in the truck, so I guess we'll just have to see. We'll set that aside. And, and the last, what it comes with. Yeah, probably the, the least used part of this will be the, yeah, <laughs> at I'm least sure from me. We'll have to go through and figure out, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, exactly everything in here. Yeah. So Jim reads those a little bit more than I do. <clears throat> so there we go. We've got our, uh, our manual. So what I'll do is I'll just box this back up. Put this away just what we need in the truck another box yeah so, i'm always after you to get rid of all those extra boxes with nothing in them <laughs> hold on got our manual usb cable our usb charging port our little magnetic mount another usb cable 
and the dash cam itself. So Voila. It's small. It's it looks tiny. Tiny. Uh, but uh, we'll get it turned on and plugged in, and uh, we'll be back with that right after All this. Right. We're going to go through the setup here on the Garmin. Uh, I went ahead and plugged it in uh, to just a, a regular phone charger we had here in the truck. Uh, same voltage and everything, so it seems to work, so I didn't have to use the cigarette lighter plug. So that's still right there. So just used the long USB cable and plugged it right in. So now we're going to go through setting this up. Uh, we are in the United States. And we definitely want American English. It's the only English I know how to speak. And do not attempt to adjust this device while driving. So that's basically why we got voice control. So we're going to agree with that. That's also why we're doing that right now. <laughs> Insert a memory card to begin recording. So the interesting thing about this Garmin is it does not come with a memory card and it takes a, uh, a uh, micro SD card. It needs to have a class 10 SD card and as luck would have it in my old phone, uh, my old Samsung Galaxy S5 that I've had around for years, there just so happens that there was an SD card in there and that is what I've got right there, a 32 gigabyte class 10 S SanDisk SD card. I think this thing will take up to a 512 gigabyte uh, card, which is huge. Uh, and it basically what happens on these dash cams is they just continuously record in a loop and it will actually go through and erase off the, uh, uh, basically, you know, what was recorded hours ago. I don't know how long this little card will last. Um, and so, if there's an incident where there was, uh, you know, your car would, would be hit, there would be a shock, it would instantly record that. Well, it's already been recording, so it would save that, like, back a minute, and then, you know, over a period of time. Or you can use the voice command to say, you know, record a video, um, and it will do that also. So uh, I don't know how many hours we'll get out of the SanDisk card here, the 32 gigabyte. I'll probably have to upgrade that at some point. But I'm going to take a minute and insert this card. So with the device, uh, at the very bottom here is where the SD card goes in. It's in this little slot right here. And there's our SD card. And so with the back of the camera facing us, take the SD card, slide it in the little slot there. And maybe. Hard to do with the camera. <laughs> and it sort of clicks in the space thing after inserting the memory card you have to push this little button right here and it goes on to this screen it says camera placement I'm not really for sure where I'm going to replace the camera yet uh, I would like it uh, probably in the center uh, but of course uh, when the windshield gets all dirty I have no way of cleaning that off uh, easily so I may replace it over on the right hand side so for now, I'm going to go down to the, or the left-hand side, I guess, as they're talking about the drivers. Left. And we are definitely a tall vehicle. And we'll set it to record audio. Why not? Watch what we're saying. And to share dash cam footage to your smartphone, get the Garmin Drive app from your app store. So we will have to download that onto our phone. That will allow us to view the footage and to actually pull uh, the uh, files over, I guess. So we'll hit OK. And there we go. There is a little bit of the view of the inside of our truck. Uh, it's sort of dark in here, so it's not showing up too well. And I guess if we needed to hold the save, it would. Uh, so the layout of the screen, this is actually has Wi-Fi on it also. I'll have to go through and set the Wi-Fi up. And uh, as you can see, so that's what we're seeing, 180 degree view, basically see over here and all the way over here. So basically everything on the, uh, the settings and everything work on a menu system. There's four buttons on the side of the camera. Uh, oh yeah, look, it's, it's recording. So, and you can save a picture. Anyway, these four buttons control, it's sort of like a, a select and then a move up and down with these arrows. And then this is like your enter key. This takes you back. Uh, if you press this first button here on the side, it takes you into the settings. I hit this button down here is my enter. 
and you've got settings here for your camera. So we'll go here first. And the first setting is for the changing display resolution. And this has got several different resolutions on it. This is the highest end, the 1440p, 30 frames per second, and it has the HDR, which is high dynamic range, which means it basically just captures more of the shadows and more of the highlights. And different uh, frame rates and different here we got 1080p at 60 frames a second, 1080p at 30 frames per second, and 720p. This would be like the lowest that you could probably go. Um, so we're not going to go to that. I'm going to go ahead and set it up to 1440. And again, hit the enter key. And then our back key. And uh, here are your settings for event detection. So. We'll turn that on that basically if uh, you're in an accident or something that'll pick that up next one is record audio we want that on there then there is a data overlay and this will allow you to select whether we want the time and the date the location and the speed will actually show up in the video itself we'll just leave those checked come here and read the unsaved videos like I said this thing is recording all the time um, so it basically you know when you save the video it will prevent it from being overwritten but it just continuously overwrites as it fills that card up so you would actually go in here and be able to view those um, you can either delete or delete it when it's full so we will just go with delete when full and there's a setting for record after power loss so if you uh, become unplugged, you can set how long it will keep continuing to record. I think we're gonna set that at 30 seconds. And we'll go back. And then this is where I would come down and format the SD card, which I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I don't know what's on that card. Uh, so formatting the memory card, hopefully nothing we need. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do that. And it shouldn't take very long. And there we go. Continuing on, that's it for the camera section. We'll go back here. Driver assistance. Uh, we already chose the camera placement and there is a setting for forward collision. And this is where you can change the sensitivity. In other words, uh, if you set it for high, you know, driving in a truck, every time something happens, you know, it's probably gonna record a video, so. We're just going to leave that at low sensitivity. And you can shut it off, or it will not record at all if there's a, an accident, but I don't think you'd really want that. So we're going to go with, media, with low sensitivity to start out with, just because we're in a truck and you know everything's going to go crazy. Uh, the go alert, basically if you're setting at a stoplight, and supposedly if the traffic starts moving in front of you and you're asleep, which you know we wouldn't be doing in a truck, uh, it, will, it will beep and let you know. It also has a lane departure, which I think we're gonna turn off in the truck because I've heard that it can it's overly sensitive and it just continuously goes off. Uh, we have friends that have a 65W, which is a camera that this one actually replaces and they, they had me turn everything off in it. So uh, proximity alerts. So this is if you're getting too close to a car or a car is getting close to you, it will actually beep out a tone. We'll have to play with that and see. I'm not for sure if I want that on because I have a feeling it's going to drive us crazy. Uh, if you get too close. If you get too close. So you can have a I single don't know how tone. How close is close? You know. Tenuous tone, turn it off. We'll leave it on for now to see what it sounds like. Uh, we'll go back. There are alerts. Red light cameras. I don't know if we need to know about that. We'll leave it on for now. Uh, delete files. Of course, we just uh, basically formatted this card, so I think we're okay. And then there is an update feature, and I don't know if, uh, well, they're updated by that. I guess we don't need that right now. And we'll go back, go back again, and then the settings for the system. Not for sure what regulatory is. Oh, I guess this is just the information on the device itself. Adjust your volume here. Right now it's set at 60%. We'll leave it at that. The brightness, 20%. I think we might change that. We might make it a little brighter. Not, yeah. 
Yeah. So we'll set that at 80 right now. Color mode, auto, day, night, or auto. At least, I think we'll leave that at auto. Display timeout, uh, I guess that's after you record or you, you, any way you, that you initiate the menu system, it'll go off after a minute. We'll just leave that the way it is. And setup, uh, we're gonna definitely use miles, time, uh, we'll go with the time, automatic, time format. We're gonna change that to 24 hour. language, we already got American English, restore, not going to mess with that, it probably resets it to factory defaults, so we're not going to do that, and of course then there's about that tells us the version, and the dash cam version, and all the hardware, software stuff, so we'll go with that, so back here, that's the last portion of our menu, so we should be set up right now. And so go back, back one more time. And like I said, we hit this button here to get into the settings. We hit the down button, it takes us into the gallery. And this is where you'd be able to view all the videos if there were some, because we just deleted everything, so it's nothing there. Um, and the travel apps, you can actually go through and have this thing record uh, where it'll, when you play it back, it looks, it'll record your, you know, your three hour drive and replay it back in two seconds something like that um, and voice control this is where you would set up your settings for voice control uh, control the device with your voice say okay garmin Ooh, look at that now i can hit you know what's here i'm not going to read them off uh, the settings here we don't want to disable it we want that enabled okay garmin take a picture you're safe. Check that out. All right. Okay, Garmin. Save video. Video saved. All right. So anyway, that's a neat feature. We wanted that on a camera uh, so we don't ever have to touch the camera while the vehicle's in motion. We shouldn't be doing that. Uh, so, okay, Garmin. I guess those are the four commands you have. Uh, so we will definitely play around with that a little bit. And then the last feature here is the Garmin Drive app. And I'm assuming this is where you go in to actually set this up yeah, and connect on your phone. So we will take care of that. And uh, then we're back to the settings menu. So these basically buttons to sort of scroll through the choices that you have. download that Garmin app and we'll be right back. So here is the Garmin Drive app uh, on an Android phone. This is my uh, Galaxy S or Note 8 Plus and we're just going to go ahead and install that. Download that now. Not too bad of a, of a file size, so it should be downloaded and installed in just a few seconds. Okay, that's downloaded. We'll open it up. Carbon Drive. I'll check the license agreement. Next. Warning, failure to pay full attention. We'll agree to that. Now, with our handy dandy little our app in hand and our dash cam, and we'll hit connect. Continue to pair it and allow. Look at that, it found each other. And that's basically about all it is to it. So we'll hit done. Uh, 
let's just see, review footage. That looks like it's gonna take a little bit of time. And there we go. Pretty cool. all the videos if there were some because we oh, just yeah. deleted on everything so it's nothing there um, and the travel apps you can actually go through and have this thing record uh, where it'll pretty cool so that works out pretty well so now I'm able to look at the uh, video and stuff on my phone from the actual app so I don't have to actually go through and view things here I can actually pull that stuff over to my phone so I'm pretty happy about that so the next step is to get this up and running into the windshield of the truck. Uh, the only problem we're running into tonight is it is very cold out here in Wisconsin and it's supposed to be down to five degrees tonight, I believe. So we're trying to heat up the front, but we're gonna see if we can get this installed here. So uh, we'll be right back. So after messing around, I think it is too cold to put that on the window tonight. So we will have to do that tomorrow and I can't see outside. I was say, we'd like to be able to see where we're going to put it. Uh, so see the best view. I guess that will be in a video tomorrow. Uh, we we'll are a little short one tomorrow about it. Yeah. So we'll try to get that up for you tomorrow. So it'd be nice if we had the mic so we can hear. You can hear. All right. So we'll see you in the next video. So long, everybody. Good night. <laughs>